Hi and welcome back to the ElectroSmart YouTube channel. In today's video we will unbox and show the initial setup for a Dower 4K digital video recorder. The model in this video is XVR5104HS-4KL-X. I'll be back in a second once it's all unboxed. In the box we have starting from left to right the power supply for the DVR, the mouse, the hard drive installation cables and screws. If you've ordered yours with the hard drive pre-installed, these will not be in the box as they've already been used to connect the hard drive to the DVR. We have the DVR itself, we have the paperwork, and the most important bit of paperwork is this one, which shows the factory password and unlock codes. If you do need to install a hard drive to the DVR, it's quite easy to do. Simply remove the screws, one at each side and two on the back, and this will remove the top cover from the DVR. We do recommend fitting the hard drives using an anti-static mat just to avoid damaging the hard drive. I've now removed the cover from the DVR and installed the hard drive. You can see the two cables that are supplied are connected to the board there and the screws are screwed in underneath to keep the hard drive in place. I'll now put the lid back on and get the DVR set up. For a smooth installation, we recommend connecting all of the cables to the DVR before turning on the power. Starting at the left, we have the video input, which is where you connect your cameras. Next to that, in the red, we have the audio input and audio output ports. These are generally used if you're using microphones with your cameras. Next to that, we have the HDMI port. Up there to the right, we have the VGA port if you choose not to use HDMI. Next to the HDMI, we have the network port, which is where you connect your Ethernet cable to your router. You will need to do this if you wish to view the footage on your phone. Next to this, we have the RS-485 port. This is generally used with PTZ communication. Next to that, we have a USB port to connect your mouse. And finally, we have the power cable connector. Once all of this is connected, turn on the power to the DVR. With the DVR now turned on, you can see it comes up straight away and the camera connected is shown the image. To access the main menu, right click on the mouse, click main menu and when it asks for the login, refer back to the paperwork showing the unlock pattern and simply enter the unlock pattern. This now loads the main menu. 